Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Thursday, the 6th of June. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to help you navigate around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. We saw bias retake control overnight in the US. Very strong session. Saw the S&P 500 and NASDAQ hit new record highs. The potential for an ECB rate cut, which is announced today, appears to have helped sentiment. And of course, markets prepare for other big data also due in the next couple of days. US futures are slightly higher in Asian trading with a little bit of follow through. Asian markets really quite buoyant with broad based gains following that strong US lead. ASX is up around 0.8%. European futures also pointing to a positive open this afternoon. So, weakness in the US dollar index on that equity strength. And it is retesting the 200 EMA to the downside, which it did so initially at the start of the week. And we've been talking about the weakness in commodities all week, but we did see a bounce uh, throughout yesterday and with some follow through in Asia today with gold testing the top of a recent range and this critical 2350 level. It's in around 2355 as we uh, record this. A copper bounce of one month lows with follow through in Asia. And we've seen all bounce off January levels and at re eyeing $75, which was the key level it broke through. Bitcoin breached 70,000 yesterday, is eyeing record highs around that 73.3 thousand level that we've referenced a few times before. It does look as though there is some buyers in there. It'd be interesting to see if there's enough momentum to carry it to that level. Of course, US jobs are the data highlight for the week. We had the ADP report yesterday. But weekly jobs tonight out of the US and, of course, non-farm payrolls tomorrow. In today's data, we've had the Australian trade balance figures better than expected later this afternoon. We got Swiss jobs, German factory orders, and that all-important ECB rate decision. So lots for the markets to digest. But at this stage, the bulls are back in, buying pressure across all risk on assets. And worthwhile having a look at a couple of charts, of course, the core RI as well. We're going to start in the ASX with NXT, so Next DC Limited in the networking space in the tech sector. And you can see we are retesting a key level on this. This is all time highs, but it has had some trouble really since it first tested it in March to breach this level at $18. Retesting it today, so worthwhile checking on this to see where it sits at the back end of the trading session. Uh, but a breach of this would be technically significant. The FX markets are sort of in the balance at this stage during the session. We can see here on the New Zealand Canadian dollar on the four hourly chart that we are pushing up towards this 85 cent level. This is important technically and is a level that may precipitate some more buying. Certainly, that 20 pip move initially up to the R2 level, quite possibly a move up to this. R3 pivot level at 85.54. So we think this is worthwhile keeping an eye on. If we just pop it on a 30 minute chart for more detail, you can see we've just had a pullback after our first test of this level today, uh, but a breach of that would probably push us through. It's one of those nice round numbers. So worthwhile being patient, but one to keep your eye on for sure. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.